Hey y'all, today I'm going to be sharing another Goodwill Dollar Day haul with y'all. As you guys know, my Goodwills here in South Mississippi have a color tag that goes to just $1 on Mondays, and this Monday the color tag was green. I found only eight items, y'all, this week, and I actually went to two different stores. There just wasn't a lot available. Maybe I went to the wrong stores. That's what I'm thinking. I went to stores that I normally don't go to, but I'm still going to share what I got. A lot of this stuff is bread and butter. Usually in these dollar day videos, I'll like share bolo items, things that can sell for 50 plus dollars. But this stuff behind me is just bread and butter, 15 to 25 dollars and just things that I think will sell. Of course, this video is a collab with my reseller friend, Tanya, also here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. She's also putting out a video at the same time I am, and she went to a different Goodwill, so she's gonna have her own separate Dollar Day haul. Gonna leave her video link down below so you can see what two Mississippi Gulf Coast resellers are picking up on Dollar Day. So. If a cheap cost of goods thrift haul to resell sounds good to you, just keep watching. I'm just going to go ahead and start. Um, again, these are just items that aren't necessarily bolos, but I think they will do well. All right, so here's our green tag, and I thought this was gorgeous. Super cute denim embroidered skirt. This is by the brand UMG. It's a size small. And UMG is known for their embroidery. I think it's really cute. I'm probably going to start this skirt at probably around $20. Um, I was kind of thinking back and forth about getting these. Uh, these are Victoria's Secret pink yoga pants. And I got these because they do have the sequins in the back. I have sold this kind of style before. Um, but these are just like a cropped kind of capri, so I don't know how good they'll do. Pink yoga, extra small. Uh, probably start these at, I don't know, maybe like $18. But I have had past experience selling that, so I'm really hopeful that'll sell. I mean, as long as I sell one thing for $10, I made all my money back, so you can't beat these kind of thrift hauls, right? I definitely picked this up. If I had to put like a bet on what would sell first, I'm Betting it probably would be this. Uh, it's Victoria's Secret. It's a size medium. And this is just a slip dress. Really pretty. Has the orange floral. It also has like this ribbon tier down there. Um, I'll probably list this $20 or $25. I've had really good luck selling Victoria's Secret slip dresses. They usually don't sit long at all. Um, okay, this is an exciting brand. This is Liverpool, and they're in a good size 1030, and they are just a pair of Bermuda shorts. Don't have any experience, I don't believe, selling Liverpool Bermuda shorts. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to price these. Uh, I think probably around that $20 mark is kind of what I'm thinking. Okay. Let's get on to the last pal. This is definitely going to be a shorter video than you guys are probably used to from me, but that's okay. These are still brands that I'm confident will sell. Size large, Women's Columbia, and this is just a blue little blouse. Columbia sells really good for me. It also has like this ruching kind of detail here with the tie on the sleeve. So I got that. I'll probably list that around 20. Okay, I really liked this piece right here. If this was my size, I would totally keep it. It is missing the drawstring. Tommy Hilfiger, size large. It's a cropped black hoodie. And I liked it because it had the spell out right down there. So yeah, just a black hoodie. Um, like I said, it is missing the drawstring, but I'm hoping maybe I can still get around 20 for that. We'll see. I don't have a ton of luck selling Tommy. I don't pick it up a lot. I want to say I maybe have two or three things in my inventory that are Tommy Hilfiger, so we're going to give it a shot. Um, this is going to come to no surprise. Chico's, I think in every single one of my thrift hauls, I have Chico's in it. Uh, this is a size too petite which I want to say is a large petite. And I just thought it was a pretty blouse. It has like this little 
tithing, what would you call that? Like a crisscross right here at the top. And it has really pretty sleeves with the embroidery. I really liked it. I'll probably start this around maybe like $23. Um, okay, here's the last thing, and I have no experience selling this, you guys. I just got this because it was something different. So this is Skillcraft size large, and they're actually army pants. And they're like a nylon pant. And anyway, whenever I looked these up, there were several going between like maybe 25 to 30 or 20 to 30. And I thought, well, for a dollar, I'll give a new brand a shot. So that was just a really short thrift haul. Let me know what you thought in the comments. This dollar day, I'm definitely going to hit up some stores that I normally go to, stores that I have much better luck at. And hopefully you guys will see a much larger haul from me. Don't forget to check out my friend Tanya's thrift haul. Her video will be linked down below. If you came over from Tanya's channel, hey, my name's Alicia. I am a reseller and I try to share daily videos here on this channel, thrift hauls, mystery unboxings, what sold videos, things like that. I just like to share my reselling journey here on this YouTube channel, Murrayed Life. I'd love to have you if you wanna hit that subscribe button I would greatly appreciate it. To all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you tomorrow for a fun new one. Bye, y'all.